All right, so on my way back home, took a, a personal day to go get an injection. Went and got an injection. Now, I feel like it's gonna be good for me, and it's gonna be safe. And the reason that I feel like that is because it was fucking $650. And I had to sign a bunch of paperwork and read a bunch of shit first. It was not in a, a Walgreens parking lot under a tent having some $14 an hour person inject me with something for free. But anyway, so that's not the point of the video. I just find that funny that, you know, this miracle drug is free, but this fucking steroid for your back, 650 bucks, whatever, doesn't matter. Southwest Airlines CEO, I saw him coming out and saying, oh, you know, I'm not behind this mandate thing. We gotta do it anyway, which as Tim Pool pointed out in this video I watched to him, um, who said anything about mandates? I thought y'all said this was all about the fucking weather. But anyway, there is no law. There is no mandate yet. That's what I don't understand. Like, I understand if these companies are gonna just immediately cave and be like, well, it's the rules we're just gonna follow them. Of course they are. But like, the rules aren't even made yet. Just as a company, as a fucking airline, that you know this is gonna happen. Why would you not wait until the law was at least fucking actually passed or the order or however OSHA supposedly is going to do this, shouldn't you at least wait until that exists? Because at this point it doesn't. All that happened was Joe Biden was at a uh, press meeting, a press conference, and he said, I want OSHA to do this. But there literally is nothing yet. So all these companies that are just like, well, fuck, we got to just do this immediately. What's, make, what's motivating them? Where is it coming from? I think I know where it's coming from. I think it's coming from Davos. But you should at least ask yourself, why do all these American corporations and multinational corporations feel like they are immediately, they're so compelled that they have to immediately capitulate to a politician saying, this is what I want. There is no law. There is no law. They didn't pass a law. And that shows you that this is not... This is corporate fascism, bro. It doesn't matter what... Like, the governor of Texas, where I live, he said, no entity can do this. I bet you they do it anyway. I bet you they do it anyway. The governor of Texas literally has no power to stop them from doing this to you. It's almost like the individual, if there was some way each individual could have some kind of way that they could deter another entity from oppressing them, what, what's something an individual could have or do or practice? I don't know. There's no answer to that. Not on YouTube. But yeah, the companies are just going to do it anyway. Although, I just went to this place that I just went, obviously it's a private practice uh, privately owned practice because they make you pay up front. Yeah, dude. It's not like the uh, other hospitals where, you know, oh, just come on in. We'll see if we can sell you and get, you know, grant money or insurance money, whatever. No, this is, you're paying out of pocket straight up. That's why I trust it. But anyway. Oh, man, here comes one of my customers. Oh, that brings up another subject. So this truck driving by me right now, right there, Hauling tandems. Or is he hauling a sink? No, he's hauling a regular sink. That company, I'll not name them, but you saw it drive by, they're forcing all their drivers to get uh, an injection. A lot of them are quitting. A lot of truck drivers are saying, fuck this. I'm going to go get my own truck. So I'm wondering how that's going to affect that market. You know, we're trying to get in that market. We've got a couple trucks. Uh, that we're putting together to get into that market. Can't find a driver, so. But it's like that's how fucked up it is. That's how that's how bad that small businesses have it. You've got to invest a hundred grand in an asset to keep a plan moving before even knowing if you're gonna have an operator for it. Whatever you get, fucking steer into the storm, bro. Oh yeah. 
you're a diesel mechanic and you want to move to Austin, Texas, and you're not a complete dumbass, you've got a job waiting for you. With just contact me. I'm serious. If you can drive around in a truck and repair air air system leaks and fucking fix light bulbs and rudimentary skills on diagnostic software to at least read codes and let us remotely diagnose it, you know, with TeamViewer or something. That's all I need. Can't fucking find it. Cannot find it. I mean, not. Just can't. You pay fucking ZipRecruiter or somebody fucking, you know, thousand dollars a week or some out or a month or some outrageous bullshit and, you know, the resumes you get are either all the decent ones are like, oh, I'm not looking anymore. They just still have my resume on there. Or they were like, oh, I was a loop tech and the pilot. That's it. So if you're, if you, if you know how to work on modern highway trucks, fucking contact me, bro. If you want to move to Austin, Texas, there's a job. There is a job. Anyway, that's all I got for now.